Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've seen one of my videos, welcome to my channel. If you are new, today we're going to be doing my finale of my 2021 project pan. Or 2022, it's gonna look a little bit different, so I wanted just to finish it, and yeah, we'll just get started. The very first thing I wanna share with you is this lip gloss. The Revlon Mineral Lip Glaze in Timeless Nude is gone. Last time I took out the stopper, and I just can't get any else, any of it out. I have been working on this for years. I am so excited. 2022 is going to be the year of lips. So be prepared. If you've been watching my flashback inventory, I will link that playlist down below. You will know why, but um, I'm gonna have a whole different project for lip products in 2022. So moving on, the next thing that's really exciting is the Amber Blush Fragrance Mist gone. I use this all over the upstairs. Another thing that is gone is the Avon Smooth Minerals in Radiance. It was a beautiful like neutral blush. I loved it. I'm not a huge fan of loose products just because I feel like they make a mess. I did want to share what I am using now because I think by 2022 it's going to be gone, which I'm excited about, but I wanted to share that I'm working on it because again, if you watch my flashback inventory, it's on here and you will know why I need to use it, but it is the Bare Minerals Face Color in Soft Focus Glee. It looks like this and oh, yeah, you can barely see the color anymore. There it is. Um, it's a loose powder and I just put it on. I've been using this as a blush and I really like it. It's like a blush highlighter combo. So I think by 2022, this should be gone, which I would be excited about. So I thought I would share. The last thing in my project pan is the Maybelline Mix Matchers. It had a pink color. And last time we were up at the top, we're down here now. So not a ton of progress, but some. And then the other side was a bronze color, which I have on my lash line today. Um, it was at that line. It's gone down a little bit as well. I was gonna use these as eyeshadow bases, but if you watched my pan that palette, then you know the eyeshadow I'm working on. I've been using a bright sparkly base because it just makes it pop. So I haven't used these as bases and just like eyeliners, which I don't use a lot. I don't know if this is going to be transferred into 2022. I do want to work on it, but there are a few other things that I'd be okay with finishing first, honestly. So that is a question mark, whether that is going to be my 2022 project pan. So there's gonna be a whole lot of new things for 2022 in my project pan. So stick around so you can see them. And I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Bye.